Hello everybody, hope you're doing okay. Welcome to a place called Mixbury in Oxfordshire. And I've stopped off here on the way to my physio for a little run. I thought I'd do today is have a quick look at two pairs of endorphin speeds that I've got, which I've got here. They've got the New York colorway and the original white pair. So I've done 150 miles in the white pair and about 10 miles in the New York pair. So I thought I'd do a bit of a wear test today to see whether I can detect any difference between the two. Now after about 150 miles, you expect a shoe to be in reasonable condition, but it might be showing a bit of signs of wear. So let's take a look at them now, then I'll go out for a little run with one in each foot, see if I can detect any difference. Okay, let's have a look at the shoes. So here we go, here's the left pair here of the Endorphin Speed, and let's take a look at the backs first of all, to see if we can see any wear. I've actually tried to uh, clean these up a bit, and uh, obviously I've had a bit of outdoor use of them, had a few flash wipes on these, as, as we can say. And there's not really any wear at all, I can obviously, I always have my most wear here um, in the t uh, in the, when I tow off, and I'm not seeing a great deal of wear there. If anything, in the wear in the 10 mile pair New York pair, the blue pair, he seems to be just as much here as on the left. And I've seen a few pictures on um, the internet where people are, one guy after 180 miles had this bit splitting at the back, but I think he's a bit of a hill striker. So, um, and I'm more of a midfoot to toe off guy. So I guess that's probably, that's why the, the heel looks pretty much fresh. So if you have a look at the right pairs as well, I'm seeing pretty similar things. Just a sign of a bit of degradation there at the, on the toe off, but not a lot. And just a not great or difference there either. And again at the rear, not seeing much. A bit of a little of a punch mark there maybe. Um, I think I've got something stuck in there actually. Let's see if I can get that out later. Um, the other place that sometimes shoes wear is at the heel, and that's fine on that one. You'd obviously expect it to be fine on that one in a new pair and uh, this version i'm not seeing any issues there at all really so and the uppers and the uppers all look pretty much as new i mean i haven't worn these outside a great deal of late uh maybe more of a summer shoe than onto the treadmill um so i haven't really been putting these for any great lots of mud or anything but uh all looking good so far okay so let's get a pair on and go for a little run okay so i put the new york colorway the newer pair on the left foot and the older white pair the original pair on the right so just walking around they feel pretty much the same actually it's a quite nice sort of spongy feel in the endorphin speed there is a nylon plate in this one as opposed to the carbon plate in the endorphin pro but i didn't really feel this in this shoe and i've been using this for pretty much everything i mean it's pretty pretty much the classic this year's go to do everything shoe and i think it's going to feature if not as people's favorite shoe of the year certainly in the top three from one of the youtubers i think of the shoes i bought this year this is perhaps the most versatile shoe. I'm not sure if I still like it more than the Turbo 2. Pretty pretty similar type of thing, but uh, I've certainly been enjoying it of late and for my recovery for my car front. And I've done everything from a nine minute mile to some sort of like six minute pace at the end of a treble run the other day. And when I was a bit fitter, even some flat out sprints. So let's go for a little run now, see if I can detect any difference in the cushioning when I'm actually get going. So it wouldn't be one of my runs without a bit of old railway action. So I've just done a few strides on the top of an old railway bridge here. So, how am I getting on with uh, the new shoe on the left and the older one on the right? Well, pretty similar actually. I think it's quite hard to tell them apart, which is a good sign. I might say that the right foot, just the older one, just feels slightly less cushioned, a bit more compacted maybe. The new one just feels slightly more bouncy, but it's very marginal. So I think I'll run back now and swap them over. I've done 1.67 miles, so a good test of that. And uh, I think it's safe to say that after 150 miles, this uh, right shoe for, uh, for definite is still holding up very well. And based on that, they're probably going to at least get them to uh, 300 unless they suddenly collapse in the next uh, 50 uh, miles or so. But yeah, certainly a good sign so far. Right, let's uh, crack on back and we'll swap over and see if there's any difference in those. Okay, so we've now swapped over, we've got the older white pair on the left and the newer New York blue pair on the right. Okay, let's see if there's any difference swapping these over. Immediately, actually immediately, the left foot feels softer again, even though it's the older shoe. Maybe it's just the fact that my right foot is a dodgy leg. 
that so I'm just feeling a bit more stiffness in it so maybe more on the leg than the shoe but we'll do a little run to actually acid test but certainly already that kind of feels similar like the left shoe is softer so I think that could be more me anyway right let's get on the run so yeah near the end of the run with a, with a white surf speed on the left and a bit on the right definitely feel the white across it's a softer one the older one I think that could be washing my foot actually I'll just try the other I'll try the same pair on in a sec Okay, just to confirm that. So I've just done another mile in the original white pair just to see if there's any difference. I think it's just actually it's more my foot. I think the left foot just feels a bit softer. I think because of my right leg injury, I think just the right foot just feels a bit stiffer. So I think the summary of this is that after 150 miles or a nearly new pair, very little to choose between it, and that's a very good sign of wear so far. So I'd certainly say ticking the box for 150 miles, and I'll be continuing to use both this white pair and the New York pair for my runs. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, like and subscribe and all that if you're still listening and see you on the next one. Okay, bye.